everyone, it's Jill, Fire Foozy Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. So, are you ready for giveaway week? Welcome to Christmas week and giveaway week here at Fiber Foozy Crafts. Okay, so I want to get some stuff out of the way first. Thank you so much to every one of you who is watching my videos trying to get my hours. As of this morning, this is Monday, the 21st of December, 2020. As of this morning, I had 3,988. This close. <laughs> so I, put, I could have it by tomorrow morning. Maybe I have it by Christmas. It's coming. It's coming. And thank you all so, so very much for helping me. I really appreciate it. So... Thank you to you that have come to join me. Thank you to my new subscribers. Um, this is the reason we're having giveaway week because I wanted to make sure and repay some of you as best I, I can't give every one of you anything. I can't, but I can give some of you something. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. After this clip, then there's going to be another video. So I'm going to attach this to the front of a video. Now, what you will have to do, you'll have to like this video, you'll have to be subscribed, and you'll have to do whatever I ask you to do at the end of the video. So you'll watch this, then you'll watch the video, and at the end of the video, you will answer a question. So I'm going to do my thing for now. And then I'm going to tell you, after that, I'm going to tell you what I want you to, to put in the comments. And that's how you will enter into the giveaway. And we're going to do one of those every day this week. So Monday through Friday, all the way through Christmas. So there'll be five giveaways. So, and I wanted to show you some of the things. Now, first off, this one was not claimed. So this is going to be one of the giveaways. And I showed this again on my live, but this is a craft planner, creativity planner from Recollections. And it has a full year's calendar. So I want to go ahead and get this off to somebody because the last person that supposedly won it did not. So we're going to go ahead and give it away this week. So that's one thing. I've got a sack full of yarn. All of this is going to go plus more. There's more. This is just some stuff I pulled out for now. This is what I got from uh, Hirschner's. So this, I've got some scrubby smoothie in here. I've got some willow fawn. I've got some willow cotton rolls. These were, I, I don't know that you have to go online and look for the, for the uh, colors for these. I've got one of these neck lights. And then my daughter, Chelsea, she, she entered these in for the giveaway too. So some of you will get these. One of these. These are those ring counters. And then I have a whole drawer full of stuff that I'm going to load. And what I'm going to do is I have some, I have some boxes and I'm going to load those boxes and I'm going to put a different thing in each day. And so it's going to be like a regular present and you won't know till you open it what you got. So there's all kinds of stuff that's going to be in there. Lots of yarn. It, as much as I can get in those boxes is what you're going to get. Are you ready? <laughs> so that's the update on my hours that's what we're going to do for the giveaway I'm trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to tell you so I'm hoping that I will have um, now, now this first video will be part kind of a part one and then tomorrow will be a part two and then 
the next day, which would be Wednesday, you'll get part three. And then I'm not sure about Thursday and Friday just yet what videos you're going to get. But I have several ready to go. So we will see what happens. But go ahead and watch this video and then you'll come back to me and I will tell you what you have to say in order to win. I'll see you in a little while. So this is all the stuff that I brought back from the craft fair. All of this plus Tawanda, my mannequin. All of this was in my car and I had to bring it in. So this is over on this side of the living room. Now, this video will probably get put up during Christmas week. But I wanted to show y'all how I went through and put all I gotta get I gotta get it in those tubs so that the next time that I do the craft fair it'll be a little easier to set up for me. So I've got these three tubs. So this one is I'm not sure how big that is, but there's this one and there's this great big blue one. And inside there's the red one. So I've got these three to put stuff in. That way they can just be slid somewhere or stacked somewhere. Even I can stack them. We have a little place in town where we use for storage. I could even stack them there and have them out of the way, but everything's ready to go. And if I need to get anything out of there, um, say I sell something on my web page or something like that, then I can go ahead and get the stuff out. So this is what I was displaying my essential oils on. This is a nail uh, polish display box that I had in my beauty shop. But I don't know that I'm going to do that anymore. I really don't think I'm going to put those away or display them that way. So probably I'm going to probably either sell this or get rid of it. So that goes there. Okay, the mannequin heads, I'm thinking that they can stay in this crate. So I've got this girl. And this girl, which I bought this wig at the antique store. Because the only one I could find that was long. I've got the guy and another girl and these this is um one that I got from the wig book when I was buying wigs for people and it's got a little indentation here and a, a one that goes down here and you put it in like that let me see if I can remember I think it goes yeah it goes like that and then you can put a wig on it so I use it to put hats on and then it folds flat so I really think those will stay in this box like it is because I don't see any reason why it needs to move into anything else. So I'm going to set this out of the way. And all this stuff is the stuff I really need to decide on. These are all what I call the soft stuff. I've got two bags plus this big one. These are going to be put up over here behind the mantle. Okay, let's see what's in this box. That's trash. This needs to, this is my book 
with all my notes in it, so I need to take this to the back room. Got a calculator, sales book, the sign that I had up for sign-ups. I'm thinking these things are going to go in that smaller bin. And this one. Because I think like this smaller one can be, um, it can be the setup bin. You know, all the stuff I use to get set up. I think that's what's going to go in here. Okay, so I've got the mannequin heads and that box that I filled up and then I've got my table and I just have the one table. When I did the craft fair here, there were tables available that are for meetings and stuff at the community center. So I was able to borrow those, but if I go anywhere else, I'm going to have to have another table or two. So that's probably going to be another... I think they run around 50 something dollars on sale anyway I don't know for sure but I'll have to get some more so I've got the one table and that and then these I think I'm just gonna take in and to town and I will just store them and um, I don't know what I'll do with those at the moment now these these were my mother's uh, angels that she painted she was a toll painter and what I think will happen here is I'm gonna go ahead and take pictures of these and then get them up on my website or Etsy or something, maybe the trading post, I don't know. Things typically don't sell very well at very good prices on the trading post. People are expecting, expecting like garage sale prices there, so that's why I'm hesitant to put them there, but I can try and see. But anyway, these she painted every one of these, so this is um, the patriotic one, and then these are the angels that she painted. I just thought you guys might like to see these. This one is the bugle and I have it priced at $35. 
Here's a cow that she painted. He's got a bell on and he sits on this stand. It's a patriotic. Here is a welcome sign that she did. We've got the watering can and the birdhouse. And this this is a right this goes over a door frame. And I've got this one at 35 too. And then I've got these all wrapped up so I don't want to show you everything. But yeah, I really don't want to take these out of here. Here's another one. Now this one has a stand. It has a stand that it sits in down here and just sits in the stand. So I'll have to take pictures of all of these, but for now, I guess I'm just going to set them aside and then once I get pictures taken, I can take them back to town. And I hate to put them in, a, in the buckets because I don't want them to get banged around. This way I can kind of see what's going on with them and I know they're not going to get hit. So. Now I moved all the others, the what I said that was the soft stuff, all of the, my knitted and crocheted items. I moved all of that out to the she shed and so we'll go out there and then I will show you, um, maybe do that in the next video. I know, such a tease, right? We'll see how long this is. If this is really long, we're going to go on to the next video. So y'all have fun today, just in case. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? <laughs> now that you've watched the video, the question I want you to answer is, what color are my walls? In the video, what color are my walls? That's what you answer down below to enter the video for today's giveaway. All right, now I will try to announce the winners the day after. So we'll do today's video, we'll do today's um, giveaway, and then tomorrow when I come on, I can, I can reveal the winner from the day before. So the final winner will be, and I, I, I probably will do the final winner Christmas Day. I'm, I'm hoping to be able to do that, but if not, if I can't get that done, it, it will at least know by the day after Christmas. So, just so you know, if things don't work out for me where I get things posted in time, you may not know the winner of that fifth day until the day after Christmas. So, just putting that out there. Okay, I will see you guys. This is all I have for you. I've got a lot I have to do. I know we are all busy this week, so thank you again and have fun today. See you tomorrow.